I'm on the Shetland Isles, 120 miles north of Scotland in the North Sea, looking for the perfect pony to join us at Shetland Pony Club. Well, last week we found stallions that were too big for us and little foals who were very cute but too small for us. So I'm heading back to the capital city, Lerwick. Now across the water from Lerwick is the island of Bressa and that's where I want to go because it's got some amazing Shetland Pony history. Now you can go by ferry or, wow, look at that, a Viking longship. And the Vikings are the reason that I want to go to Bressa. So here I am on Bressa. It's wild and quite windy. And I am looking for a headland where there's a bit of an ancient ruin. And in that ruin is an archeological stone called the Bressa Stone. And it's important in Shetland Pony history. Well, maybe it's up there. Let's go and see. So I'm looking around in the headland here. It's very lovely and oh yes, look, this looks like what I'm searching for. This is a Pictish stone. And that's 800 years AD. Oh wow. Yes, and on this stone is the first ever image of somebody actually riding a Shetland pony. Oh wow, yes, can you see it here? Look, there's a little pony there and a Viking riding him. Wow! It's always been a bit of a mystery as to how the Shetland ponies actually got to the Shetland Isles. But there are lots of Viking longships on the Shetland Isles and the Bresse stone seems to confirm that the Vikings brought them with them on ships like this. Wow! Now Bresse is also important to Shetland ponies because many years later the rich grass on Bressa attracted the Marquess of Londonderry, who needed ponies for his coal mines. And so he established studs here, breeding a large number of Shetland ponies, who then went on the boat like this, wow, <laughs> back to Lerwick and all over the world to coal mines. So looking around Bressa today in my search for a pony, I can't actually see many ponies on the island. However, there are Shetland sheep. And these sheep are at Garth's Croft on Bressa, which is a great little place you can visit. And the owner is an archaeologist who knew a lot about the history of Shetland ponies on the island. So I'm back on the mainland of the Shetland Isles and I'm heading east towards the island of Burra, where hopefully there will be some more ponies. Yes, this looks more promising. I'm heading to the stud of Mercosia, which is on the island of Burra. So I'm at the Mercosia stud where they run Shetland pony experiences and look at this rosette board. Wow, <laughs> that's very impressive. Now the Lady Elaine is showing me her lovely ponies. This lovely pony is a bit like our creme brulee, isn't he? But much bigger. Hello. Now we're going to go outside and look at this year's foals. Oh, how adorable. Don't they look wonderful? So these are this year's foals, are they? Oh, how lovely. So you've, ha so you've had, how many have you had this year? Four. 
Oh yeah, the full here, yeah. Hello. I think the two at the back are So this these are this year's foals. Hello. How fluffy and lovely you are. They're still out running with their mothers and still drinking milk from their mothers. And they'll be weaned later in the year. You can see here how the mother rubs the little pony, little foal. And that's why ponies like being rubbed on the shoulder because their mums used to do it. How adorable are they? Now these lovely foals are too little for us. So Elaine is going to put me in touch with the lady who actually bred one of our ponies that we already have at Shetland Pony Club, Balmoral. Now she lives on a different part of the islands, further north. So join me next week as I travel north in search of the perfect pony for us. Join us next Wednesday when we'll continue our search on the Shetland Isles for a perfect pony. You can book online to come riding with us at Shetland Pony Club dot co dot uk <laughs>